Today on Drawbly, I am doing an Esben Lash Master Study. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we are drawing together because art is better with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And don't forget to check out our new brushes, link down below in the description. Okay, so Esben Lash okay. is a very good artist. Yeah. I love his angular faces, the planes he uses. He's very accomplished, professional. Uh, He's so accomplished and so professional. I, I assume that to be When the I case. think of Esben Lash, I think of accomplished professional. I think of accomplished professional. <laughs> I mean, he has an art station. Do yeah. you have an art station? Never heard of it. Yes, you have an art station. That's how I know you're also an accomplished professional. But I figured I might learn something just by copying his work. And, and did you learn many things from your study? I think I did. I think I did. I learned um, that the mouth you know, less is more. Here with this sketch, I learned, you know, less is more sometimes with a mouth. Okay. Um, and I learned that about a little bit more about line weight. I felt the emphasis of his line weight at the external parts of the face. Yeah, I definitely like staring at it here, like this reference, I can see these inky black large spots in like certain areas. And I felt the emphasis of adding more detail and intricacy around, specifically on the guy face, around the eyes. Areas that capture more interest have a lot more like smaller lines and detail. Okay. Um, and then on a female face, it definitely emphasized like, leave out a lot of that lines and little craggy details to keep that more softer feminine No appearance. craggy details on yeah, the Yeah, unless you are drawing, you know, a. a craggy woman of the hills or something that's all good they exist <laughs> but um and and i kind of left this this face on that i copied a little wonky i felt like perspectively but again i felt the emphasis of line weight uh the flow of hair was always was really fascinating yeah, to you, study you've done a really good job um copying both of these relatively fast. <laughs> so I was a little worried moving from these, which are just lines, to a fully colored image, which mm -hmm. is what's next, and which is what I spend the most time on this week of learning and copying. Because um, you're not just learning and you know studying how they draw, but also how they paint. Yes. How they blend, what colors they to. use. And that felt- Their rendering techniques. Exactly. And I don't quite hit the nail on the head, especially with the, the clothing and body here, but I was pretty happy with this journey overall. I started by sketching this out. And as always, with things that turn out to be a bigger, more loved project by me, I often start from a place of low pressure where I'm like telling myself like, oh, this will be just a small thing that I do. Like, mm. I won't spend maybe a ton of time on this. I'll just see where it goes. Yeah, for sure. And it's almost like I it's giving myself permission to I don't know, just have fun with it, take it a little or, bit seriously. Or even like quit on it if it's not going the way you feel like. Yeah, and that happens too sometimes. I mean, I, there's a plenty of stuff in my Procreate folders that will never see the light of Drobly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I'm just like, eh, all right, yeah. <laughs> moving on. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed putting in all the line work for this. I love line work. I think it's so interesting how you and I find our happy places in different elements of art where you just love adding color and sculpting with color. And I just, I love to do the lines and draw the shapes in. Um, well, uh, yeah, that's perfect, Abby. You do all the lines and I'll do all the painting. We've talked about that in the past. <laughs> I'm giving up on lines. Now. Yeah, I'll let you handle, paint. I'll let you take it from here. Um, so, things that I learned. Um, so, I, I believe that this image is specifically something that he did, if I remember correctly, in a line decker style. Was uh, He had uh, some line decker brushes that he came out with. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe that this was one of the images created um, using those brushes. I certainly picked up on that from the way he like did the coloring on her jawline. Yeah, the, as well some as, of the hatching on the hat, yeah, the arm, etc. Yeah, and the jawline hatching is really the only... I don't think I pursued too much of this hatching in my version, but I did do a little bit of on the jawline eventually. Yeah, Line Decker does uh, some of that plus like just really um, unique, interesting shapes mm -hmm. within things. Like you can kind of see one underneath the jaw into I the was neck. I was very fascinated by that shape. When I did start adding color, I thought it, I had a good time like going in and like working on that shape in particular, as well as the highlights on her face and like 
her cheekbone where it meets her nose and eye. I thought those highlights were super fun shapes as well. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff going on. Mm -hmm. The background was really fun to put into. I, I don't know why. I just enjoyed that bit a lot. <laughs> love a good background. Yes, yes, love a good background. It really elevates a piece. Mm -hmm. So uh, was the painting part of the process very difficult? Well, I decided I would just take it step by step, block in colors for everything, and then gradually refine each shape down to, you know, a more refined version of itself. So I kept it again, as low pressure as I could, because I felt a little apprehensive going into all this color and painting yeah, and yeah, shapes. For sure. um, and so I was like, I, I will just hold myself to whatever standard I can achieve. Um, but I ended up being pretty pleased with both the process, what I felt like I learned, and yeah, I've not, how it I've went I've not overall. seen this one finished up, so. Oh, no? I have oh, no okay. idea. Oh, well, you're, it's going to look different than Incredible. it does now. Oh. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was a little nervous going into the face because I have always struggled with muddy skin textures. Mm. I, I didn't want this to be muddy. I knew there was a chance it would be muddy. I found that using kind of textured brushes helped me feel like I wasn't as much straying into a muddy sphere as much as when I used to use oh, really? very like clean round brushes ah, for skin. Okay. But having a textured brush, I don't know, at least for this image, because you can see his skin has a lot more texture to it. Yeah. It helped things seem to come together a maybe, lot Maybe it's quickly. just like the noise element helps to break up muddiness. I, I think the more I have uh, painted, the more I have come to the conclusion that muddiness is a combination of a, a few different things. But for the most part for me, muddiness is when you kind of like mix up your values too much. Like your lights and shadows kind of start to swap places or blend together. Mm -hmm. Like you have too light of a value somewhere in your shadow or vice versa. And it's mm -hmm. just like kind of becomes messy. But yeah. muddy muddiness can also just come from like blending a bunch of trash on top of each other, like trashy brush strokes that are see-through and stuff. Yeah, I think that's a lot of where mine comes from too, is just like brush stroke after brush stroke that doesn't like match or or go well with the previous one. It's It's been a long adventure because I've never really fully uh, fixed it in my in my work. But, you know, everything is a process, right? Yeah, for sure. Exactly. I mean, you're definitely a lot better than you used to be. I know. We it's, both are. It's so fun to look back. It is so funny to look back and see, like, all the how far we've come and just like what Drobly has evolved from. Yeah, I mean, you know? soon enough we'll be hitting our third year anniversary. Of Drobly? I know. Not too far from now. Drobly's like older than our marriage. Oh my God. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> like three times as old as our marriage. Whoa. <laughs> Numbers. <laughs> Numbers. <laughs> I like the metallic stuff you got going on here. Thank you. Thank you. That's looking really good. Thank you. Um, I thought her caps on her hair, like, also, like, it wasn't an image that I fully appreciated until I worked on it, and then, you know, How seeing, it always goes. Yeah, seeing that her hair is, like, these giant brass caps on the ends of these braids was really interesting to me, too. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the name of this character. They're from Valorant. I think it might be Raze mm -hmm. or Rave or something. Raze? I can't remember. Mm. It's been a long time since I've played Valorant. Well, she's really cool. I remember when you played Valorant because you played it a lot for a little bit and you would always come down and be like, um, I'm gonna, are you cool down here by yourself? Cause I, uh, I'm gonna go not, play. This is no. exactly what happened verbatim. I, I do not recall this. Uh, <laughs> I thought his signature was so cute. I oh, had yeah. to try to make my own. I didn't want to just leave mine on there. That felt like disrespectful since it's his work. So I put both of them oh, on there. <laughs> wow, very respectful, yes. <laughs> Cause it was fun to try to copy his and then try to make my name into one too. You did a good job of doing that. I like that, that's Thank cool. Thank you. Thank nice, you. Nice, nice. Well, I learned from the best signature there. So. Yeah, very true. Yeah. Are you yeah. doing some blending here at the end? Um, what am I? Yeah, it looks like I'm going around. It's hard to remember exactly where I was bouncing around doing all this stuff. But yeah, did some blending at the end. Wow, those colors are like extremely accurate. Thank you. Thank you. Did you sample those from the image or like? Um, not a whole lot. I don't remember doing much sampling. Those at all. colors are like almost identical. <laughs> Those are really good. Maybe I sample. There's, there's a couple areas where I can see it, like you know, being a little different. But yeah, really yeah. good job. Thank awesome. you, thank you. I did a little bit more, but here, I just kind of threw this on the end. I was kind of like fried for the day, uh, yeah. and I threw this at the end because you probably, if you're done watching by now, then 
you know, this is here. But I thought this image was really cool too. Um, wow, the, for th something just thrown on here at the end, this looks incredible. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. I really like the blue and the pinks and purples. Yeah, and awesome colors. It is highlights, so. Just more my Esben Lash study. Very brief, very fun, but wow, what a great artist. So fun to study his work, and I will definitely return at some point to study his work more because mm. there's so much to learn from here. Absolutely. And if you want to be a great artist, click that like and subscribe button. And check out our guidebook, How to Easily Draw Every Day, at the link below in the description. And this is the part where we say... Goodbye. Goomba. Ben, I think... Um, people do master studies of your work sometime. Mm, maybe. I've, I've seen them, I've uh, seen them. Oh, really? How does it feel? Oh, I've seen, uh, you know what, that's true. I've seen it every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's fun, it's good stuff.